you are going to cut your mesh at 12 inches and you this is something that a lot of people make <clears throat> that's why I did a lot of different ones on YouTube not quite this much but I do want to straighten up my mesh get the little jaggedy ends off and then we want to cut this all in 12 inches so you need 12 pieces and what you can do you have the option of doing is you can do six pieces in one color and six pieces in another all right so I'm gonna do 12 10 by 12 you can also cut this in 10 by 10 I'm doing 10 by 12 and 12 pieces. All right, this is your rose gold and it's 10 inch mesh. It's the ombre, All right, which is really pretty. And I have a white one too. So that's six pieces. You need 12 all together. Oh, that's four, sorry. They started me on the blood pressure medicine. Actually, it works. Then they started me on a very low dosage um, in the morning. And it's working. So, this is six. Real easy to make. And this will be a lot of fun if you have any grandkids. I use the 10 inch mesh, all right, eight, doesn't take a lot of material either, 10, 12 inches, two more, we'll make 12. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and cut up the white, too. I just didn't want to cut it at the same exact time as this. There we go. 12 inches, 12 inches. Alright, so that's 12 pieces. That's for one angel. This is your white one of the new meshes that they came out with. It has little stripes on it. And almost, it's black, but it almost looks like a royal blue, to be honest. It's really pretty. Something a little bit different. You kind of want to use bars. I noticed when you make these, you want to use mesh that isn't real, not the cheaper mesh, because the angels will fray. Okay? It's a little bit better quality mesh. So you don't get all that fray. So this is two. Four. You only need 12. Real easy to make. And 12. So we're doing two. And then I do have other angel designs, so we'll end up doing some more throughout the season as well. Okay? As you all know, I have the Christmas tree topper that we make. I have all kinds of different angels. So. Alright, so 
So we're going to take this, go ahead and put it down. Alright, so the biggest thing is, we're going to go ahead and take our white first. <clears throat> Now I'm going to use the tinsel tie from Craft Outlet, a white one. And our first thing we're going to do, so I like to take mine side to side, corner to corner, and take this all the way, nice and tight. One, pull corner to corner. You can actually do this in 10 by 10 inches instead of 10 by 12. Make sure you get a nice I like mine nice and tight. Be really fun to make with your grandkids and make as presents, right? Kind of like my little clippers to be. See if I can get it on the other side. Oh, please don't do that. Yeah. Because you want it to, you don't want them small, real poofy. Alright. I'm going to take this. I know everybody does it a little bit different. Oh, please don't break on me. And you are. Oh, my husband's going to have a fit on this one. Alright. My clip broke. But that's fine. One of those nights. Let's take a rock and put it over there. There you go. My potato chip broke. Clipper. There you go. Pull. This one is a little... The mesh is pretty good because it's nice and sturdy. It's, does, this one doesn't fray. All right, and it's one of their new products at Craft Outlet. You can re roll them once you get to that point, too, or twist them up a little bit tighter. Pull this out, and like I said, you can also cut it in 10 by 10 instead of 10 by 12. A snowman, a centerpiece that I do want to do. I also have a manger globe. We got uh, Judy sent me a manger that's perfect for the globe. It's not too small or too big, so we'll be using that. I think she said it was like a five dollar one. I'll show it, but we'll be making a globe with burlap in the bottom. So that's one you'll have to actually see to know. All right, remember you need 12 pieces. Go ahead and pull this. All right. Most people will take it all in just white, and you can. You can do that if that's what you want. I need to redo this one though. There we go. Right. Yeah, you're gonna unroll on me. This is the hardest part. So it likes to unroll. The hardest part you're gonna do is the actual getting everything together. This is also thicker than most mesh, so you know, because you're gonna see a quite a difference when we roll up the rose gold 
it's going to be a little bit thinner. So I'll only roll this one up. This is thicker. There we go. So you need 12. Alright, so this is the hardest part. You got 12 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Alright. Take your saw. I like using these twisty ties. And they are from Craft Outlet. And you're going to take it as tight as you can. Twist it. And then take this, the ends of it. And you can use your regular white twisties. And this is right here so you can hang it all right there's one put it to this i'm gonna put it to the side because we're doing two today this is your rose gold the ombre is going to be a lot thinner than that mesh so you're going to be able to see the difference between different meshes this is really really beautiful you can hold on to it if you need to i know that it's going to fill my hands quite quickly so i'm going to Lay it underneath my rocks real soon. All right. You could use any type of mesh, but I would definitely not. The better quality, the less fray you get. Pull, roll, do it nice and tight. Now you can fluff these out once you get this part together. All right. <coughs> Pull. Again, roll. I'm sitting down. There we go. Corner, corner, and roll. Easiest way to make your Christmas angel. Um, so if you're going to use something that frays real easy, you do spray these. All right? You can spray them. Like I said, it's better to get mesh that is a little more expensive than your cheaper mesh because it will fray on you. Here we go. Just another one. Take it here and roll. Beautiful. Beautiful. And pull. And I am having a hormone spat too. I'm sweating and it's not even hot in here. <laughs> we think that all the hormones made me definitely go into menopause as well. So they're checking for that too. We think that I, everything like fast forward me right into menopause. So everything's being checked. So we'll figure that out soon, hopefully. There we go. I get telling you right now I'm hot and in 30 minutes I'll be freezing gold. Craziness. Craziness. There we go. Twelve pieces. Some people do uh, six pieces. Some people do ten pieces. I'm doing twelve. Alright, so we're going to take all 12 pieces, just like we did with the white. <laughs> take your little zip tie. Not zip tie, sorry. Pipe cleaner, twisties, Chanel. I'm doing uh, tinsel stems from Craft Outlet. They're thicker. So take it as tight as you can. Take the end up here. Roll it. All right, and that's going to hang it. Okay, so our next part of this is you're going to take six on each side and go one, two, three, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and one, six, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so you have those. I'm going to take another zip tie right here. You can do this in any colors, all right? I'm going to take it. <clears throat> now the fun part about this is going to be our skirt. I'm going to do that. So right now, just making the body. Make sure that your loop is in the back. That two, four, six, six, seven. You should have six left. It's going to be really neat. One, two, three. One, two, three. Take it. Another zip tie. Goes to the back where your loop is. Alright. Leave that there. And here are two bodies. Very beautiful. Each one different. Alright, so now you want to decide on what color you're going to have her head. And I like to take these off. These are shatterproof. At white. Then I have... You can... Is I like this. This is more of a pinky tone. Or we can do, I like the rose gold. More of a goldish. Alright. Each one different. Or you can do them both in white. Alright, so if you want to do both in white, you can. I think we're going to stick with the white. Yeah, we're going to do white. Alright, so these are shatterproof ornaments. <clears throat> Take our hot glue. You're going to dip this in. Now you can take your glue gun and get that on there as well. And just make sure that you get that right behind near where the loop is. Okay. Hold it there. Now if this is not hot enough to stick, remember we cover the head. It's going to be fine. It's really, really easy. It's not hard at all. All right, so we're going to make our skirts that we want to put, and each one is going to be different and cute. <clears throat> oh, my tummy's hurting today. I do have eyelashes as well. So, depending on how you want yours to look, each one is different. You can do your traditional ribbon, or I'm going to take just something different today. Different than what everybody else is doing. We don't want to do the same thing. Alright, for the rose gold, I'm going to take some magnolia leaves. One. Two, three. All right. I can even take and turn these upside down to the white magnolia leaves as well. I think that's what I'm going to do with this. All right. One will have a ribbon, and the other one I think I'm going to do. Get this off. They have wires on it. <clears throat> so for the white one here, I'm going to take three magnolia leaves. I'm going to twist it and twist. Now you can take ribbon. We'll go over our ribbon in just a second. Take this right here though. 
do a twist all together. All right, this is going to go right here. on her skirt and twist it with the bag here. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this too. Let me get this. Make sure it's twisted right. A lot light. A little bit of gold on her. And twist it around, flip this down. I'm actually going to take that. I'm going to glue this on down her skirt. All right, so don't worry about this right here because we have other stuff we're doing with this. I'm going to take one more magnolia though, see if I have another white one. I want white. I do. Awesome. So that would be four. I'm going to take it this way to this side. Oh, we got rain. We have a storm coming, so so you all know. I'm going to go ahead and clip this. Add some glue. Do not worry about this. This all goes in and around. All right. So we are going to glue these as well. Go ahead and trim this. We're going to need stronger. I got to do something that's a little bit Carmen and not what everybody else does. So, this is what I do. Alright, so I'm going to take a little bit of glue right here on our skirt. Do not worry about the upper part because we're going to be creating the upper part as well. So one thing at a time, move this all wired. All right, so let's take some glue, put it around there to secure her skirt. Also take a little glue onto your little pipe cleaner there. Be careful, that hurt. Be careful. Be careful you don't burn yourself. And take this a little bit. Oops. Of course you're gonna fall. Little dot here, little dot here. Take this over, press down. So if you're gonna use just ribbon, you're gonna cut four pieces and tie it around her neck. We'll go over that in just a second. All right? I'm doing hers a little bit different. Something different and beautiful. She's beautiful. Alright, gotta let the glue dry. So I'm gonna go over to the rose gold. We're gonna move this one over. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab one more magnolia leaf. As you can see, I wanted it, it needs four. Let's take it. I'm going to take these two together, twist them around with this particular one. All right. I'm going to take these two, kind of give it a little bit of glisten in there. Twist it around. You're going to have one that's a little bit different. It's really pretty though. See how they are two toned? And then it can flip. You can have it all different colors. So you can turn it over or turn it this way. If you want one to be on that color and this one, so all you do is you just twist them on. All right, so we're going to take this. I kind of want this one like that. Let's take her. I'm going to twist this into our tie here, and then we'll put our tie together, and then we'll trim it. And we'll add our glue. 
You can do this in any color. Take this over, twist this together. All right, oh, that's beautiful. This is the base for my dress skirt. Together, I'm going to clip the ends here. Come on. Need stronger. I need to get some stronger ones. Take a little bit of glue. Just gonna secure it on. I'm gonna let that dry and then put a little bit on the front. Alright. We're gonna move over to the other side while this one's drying. Go to this one. Alright, so you can decide on what colors you want to go over her dress. Totally up to you. Um, you can do blue, you can do gold, you can do any color. So I kind of want, don't want to want. Make sure you put your, yeah, be careful. I'm going to take this under. All right, we got on the back of it. It's all right. I'm actually going to use, do I want this, do I want it, I'm do four pieces, alright, this cut in 18, So if this shows, it matches your ribbon. All right. <clears throat> Three and four, and you can make them smaller if you want. You can do anything with these. Don't be afraid. There we go. I might even just do two. Yeah, let's try two and save the other ones for there because this is kind of thick. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pinch it just right there in the center. It's wired. I'm going to take it around her neck. You can put a bow on her if you want. Or you can do it just a little bit different like I'm doing. more secure around her neck. We're going to glue this on. Alright, do not be afraid of this. Still got more to do. We glue that. Everything can be glued. You can also trim this up. Alright, and then I'm going to take right around her little waistline. See what color I'm going to put on there. And I think I'm going to use the same ribbon. And yes, you can do a little bow as well. It's already hot here. It's very hot, the glue. So you don't need as much as I cut. You really don't. You take that, take it around. you giving her a little waist. We're not done. It's cute. Don't worry. It's cute. Alright, so I kind of want to decorate this right in here. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take me 
and you can do any colors. I like to do mine different. Everybody has their own way. Personally, I want to do something a little bit different than what anyone else is doing. Alright. Let me take this. Here's some more. Let me take it around. Alright. So let's shape this to the color you want. Twist. Take four. And you can still take a little bow if you like to. Take it. Twist it around that little piece of ribbon there. You can also stick it into the ribbon. Alright, we're going to add glue. So everything is going to be fine. Take a little bit of glue. Just a little bit. Alright, so if you want a little bow, real easy to do. Totally up to you, and we still have our hair, her halo, and her eyes. Alright, so first a little bow, and twist it up. Okay, twist, everything's twist. And. In here, take this around. So I used 18 inch piece of ribbon. Again, glue is your friend. I take it. Totally up to you if you want to do legs on this. Everybody's different, so I kind of don't want to. And I think I'm gonna put it right here. Hot glue is your friend. Remember, hot glue is your friend. Here we go. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to take me a little jewel. Oh, I have tons of jewels. And I'm going to look for which one. And you, can, you actually can buy them at the Dollar Tree. Walmart. Anywhere like that, I'm going to take a little diamond and put it right there in the center. I know some people, so if you want to add the bow legs, then you're not going to use that, all right? The leaves. Or you can put it over it. I like the dress. I love the dress. I think the dress is gorgeous. Alright, so we're going to take... <clears throat> got eyelashes. And depending on halo, it's totally up to you. I'm going to take my halo, and I think I'm going to do two different types of halos. So you're just going to round this off. Nice and round. Another tinsel tie. And you can use the small tinsel ties that you get from Dollar Tree, okay? Gold halo. Take this to the back. And you can use white if you want as well. Take it to the back. I'm going to actually snip it down just a slight bit. And that glue I can melt off with my wax warmer. Just a tiny bit. Alright. This is how you hang it. You're going to take just a little bit of glue and it goes onto the tinsel tie over there. We're going to take this. Once you see where you want to place it, the hot glue goes right here. Let it sit there for a second. I'm going to take just a smidge. Okay. 
press it onto the back of her head. Beautiful. It needs to sit just a second. Then you can mess with the dress, the uh, wings. When you get it all done, you can mess with it and shape it. And let that just take a second. You will mess with this a little bit. You know, fluff out your little bow. You can do her dress any way you want. This is something different and easy that nobody's doing. That I wanted to do. Now, remember three years ago, we did the diva with the eyelashes that everybody's doing now? Yeah. That we did. It's three years old on YouTube. Twelve days of Christmas. Alright, so we're going to take just a teeny, teeny time. Teeny. Dot. Dot. Teeny dot. Here and so far as your little glue on there, once everything's stuck on there, then you're going to take your heat it tool and you'll go through it and you'll clean this up a little. Get these little eyelashes where I want them. All right, so there's one, there's one. So pretty. Let's get to our next one. All right, here's our rose gold one. Okay, with her, I want to do something a little bit different than what we did with the white one. All right. Okay, so again, you gotta. I do want to use my leaves again, but I think I'm gonna go around this and go all the way down. What I mean by that is I'm gonna take one more. Magnolia leaf. Actually, I think it should take two. Let's see if I can pick the ones I want, though. This one. So one, you can do one spray with the magnolias for this. You don't need to buy a bunch. Everything I'm using is leftover, so one spray would be fine. I'm going to take this, we're going to twist this, and you're going to shape it once you get to that. Twist it around her neck, and you're going to add some glue. All right, and you got to shape it too. So take that, I'm going to twist it right here, and I still have other stuff that I'm adding. I'm take this down around her side. Alright, see how she's making her dress. Beautiful, right? It's so pretty. A Bella Angel. How about that? Take it. Your sides. Sprays are wonderful. So you can do ribbon or spray. So if you're going to do the ribbon with the bow, you take four to go down for her dress and then one up here and make your bow. All right. I like to do mine different. I don't like being like everyone else. So you're going to see Carmen's <laughs> version. My version of my angels, which are different. All right. So I'm going to take my rose gold. One. Two, three, four, five, six. And I'm planning on using the rest of that as well, if it comes out the way I want it. All right, so now I want to try to do this and add some texture around her little waist. Maybe one like here. Hold on. Do that to add glue, and we will. The little necklace here and here. 
We'll put some glue on that as well. I just want to shape it where I want it first. And take it. <clears throat> I'll glue these on. I know where I want that now. I'm going to twist it this way. Under. Around her little waist. Make sure you get it near the cleaner so you can glue it. Again, you're going to need more glue. I'm going to take some right here. And take some here. Take this to the back here. Once you get it glued on, you can shape it down to where you want it. Then I'm going to take one more. Around your little belt area. Push it down. Around her waist. Be careful you don't burn yourself. It is kind of hot. It is. It's hot. There we go. Perfect. That's what I want. All right. A little bit of glue here. All right. So I kind of want this at the very top here. And you don't have to do this. It's actually, let's see, do I want it like that? I do. <laughs> so it depends on how you want your angel. You can just take the four pieces of ribbon and do her skirt. And then do um, a little bow. Okay. I want to do, like I said, mine is totally same concept in making our angel. Just it's my little my little add to it. Take this, and you're going to see these are going to sell faster than your typical angels. People want different. All right. All right. So I have that. I have her dress the way I want. Let's see. What do I want right here? I don't want a bow. I really don't. I don't want a bow. I do want to this up. Just push it. Make sure the glue is real good there. There we go. She's beautiful. I like to make dolls, so, and I used to collect porcelain dolls, and then my husband freaks out, out over dolls, period. And I had to, left them uh, with my granddad uh, in Connecticut for my daughter. I had 500 that I was collecting since I was a little girl, so. They're all hers, not mine. Chris doesn't like dolls. Well, not the dolls I had. He said their eyes were staring at him. This is beautiful, though. All right. So, with her, you want to decide, you know, what else you want to add. And the same thing, if you have any jewels, you can take a couple of jewels. And take a little one right here. a little round one. Right here. Alright. I'm going to take this one. Right here. Like she has a necklace on. Give her some bling bling. Beautiful. 
I'm going to do our halo. Alright, so if you want to add ribbon, a full dress ribbon, you can do that. And I'll, I think I'm going to do another angel, not tonight, where we do it with ribbon, if that's what you would like. But I'm telling you, there's a hundred million that people are making and they're all the same. So it's really good to have something different. Um, they'll sell where everyone's making the same thing. They're not going to. Alright. So you want different. You don't want it all the same. So I need to make your halo. Decide on what color. Do you want gold? Or do you want white? Now there's gold in her dress, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm going to do my gold. And again, all you're going to do is just take this, make your little loop, push it down. One seven foot. Oh, so I have several different angels. There are um, several angels we made on YouTube tutorials. All right, so let's take this. You're going to take a little bit of glue in the back, everyone. All right. I'm going to take it here. Push this down. And you can even do all white if you want. Remember your door hangers right here to hang it. Make sure you got that glue down. Take a little a dot. Put it right here. Right. And they hang right here. So you have one. It's your beautiful angel. Two. You can put eyelashes on both if you want. You're going to use your regular eyelashes. The regular size. Where are they? Yeah, put Hello, there we go. You can go to Dollar Tree and get the cheap ones. Alright. You're going to cut them. And you can use E6000 with this too. You just put a dab of that on there of glue and then gently put them on and it'll glue them in. Or I'm gonna just lightly See how easy that is? Make sure this is nice glued on and dry. So if you want to put bows on it, you're more than welcome to do those. All you're going to do is do four pieces that go around the neck, pull it down. You're going to take a couple pieces, about four ribbons at the bottom and then four at the neck, okay? And you're going to pull them down, take your tie, tie it around the ribbon. Alright, that's going to make the dress here and the dress here. So you'll need eight pieces all together. Then you're going to take one more piece and you're going to form our little bow like we did on here and then you'll have the strips of ribbon holding down for their skirts. But these are, oh, look at her little eyes. I don't want to ruin her. Don't ruin, please don't ruin. You're so pretty. I don't want you to ruin. Alright, so these are our beautiful angels. Alright, this is my take on it. We don't I have my own take. Alright, cute angels. And like I said, you definitely can do the ribbon dress and you can do the bow on it and all that. But these are two. See how fast we made that? And we're done. Alright, the back of it is nice and easy. You can hang it on your door right here. Alright, or you can make them smaller and hang them on your Christmas tree. If you want them smaller for your Christmas tree, then you're going to cut it. You would get the, um, if you get the Dollar Tree mesh, if that's what you're going to use, or if you get a good six inch mesh, you can do um, six by six, 
or six by eight. Six by eight is a good one. That'll shorten her wings and will shorten her skirt and make them a little smaller. All right. All right. You guys like this? It's different, right? <laughs> Uh, so this is easy to do angels don't be afraid to use sprays don't be afraid to create the dresses in all different ways they're not hard to make all right if you want to use all ribbon four pieces around the neck to pull down four pieces around the skirt down here take a little uh, your little tie right here and put it over your ribbon all right so you're going to take an extra twisty, put it over the ribbon to hold it down. And then you can take your bow here and put your little uh, jewel on it. And that'll make a, another angel. But these are your two angels. This is a rose gold one. Beautiful, elegant, and different. You can do these white and blue. You can also do two different colors at once. And we'll probably do that another night. Where you can do the wings are white and the dress is blue, gold, silver, any color you want. Alright, so you, basically you do <clears throat> 12 pieces. You have the 6 pieces for the white wings at the top. And then for the dress, if it's a different color, those 6 pieces will go at the bottom here. You'll pull the 6 pieces down that color and that'll be the color of the dress. And the angel wings are white and those stay up and that'll give you a two-tone dress. All right, very, very cute. These are easy to make, everyone. They're not hard at all. Different. All right, any questions? These are easy to make. You like them? You're welcome. Yep, so if you want two-toned angels, six pieces, if you want them smaller, then this, you can do 6 by 8 and I'll make them a little bit smaller instead of 10 by 12, all right, which will make them actually a lot smaller. And if you want to do the wings in white, you can do, you know, six, 6 loops here and then your bottom loops will be the color of the dress you want. So you can do 6 blue, pull it down, you can do 6 gold, you can do 6 pink, pull it down, and then the 6 white ones are on top for the wings, all right. If you're going to use ribbon, you can do four at the top here around her neck. Make sure you twist it and down. All right, you're also going to put a little glue there. Then you're going to do four around the waist. You're going to pull this down, two of them down right here. Take the zip tie and go around that and the ribbons at the bottom for the waist and that will make a dress. The two pieces that are still up here that are hanging down, that's where you're going to take the loop of loops for your bow, your bow without legs, and you'll put them at the top, on top of the two pieces that you're, you know, the one piece of ribbon that's using for the two legs of the bow. And then you'll stick your little glue it, and you put your little jewel right there, and that would be where the bow is, and your two legs would be right here. The two other ones will go down to make the top of the dress, and then you'll have your four, two pieces, which is four, down at the bottom to pull down for her dress, right? Easy, simple, not hard at all. Hard. Two angels, easy to make. This is not, it's not hard. You love it? So different, any colors you want. You can do white and blue, you can do gold, you can do silver, any color. So now what I do suggest, especially with this one, as you can see the little ends here, go ahead and just trim this up. Now, I do spray these. I do, I do, I do. I do spray them. What I would do is I would take your heat it tool, go over this very so lightly, and that's going to melt your little ends there. All right? Melt it down. Help seal it. As you can tell, it's shrinking it because it's melting the fray down. And melt it down. All right? And then take your E6000 and some acrylic over it. Two coats of E6000 on your mesh. And then uh, outside spray. And then you can use one to two coats of your acrylic over it once you spray it down. Alright, once you seal it. Same thing with this. This is better mesh. 
honestly it's really good mesh you just have a couple little strands there not much at all same thing take your heat it tool go over your little ends here melt it down nice and pretty all right and then just melt those little ends down take your e6000 spray on it outside two coats and then take your acrylic sealer and go over it one to two coats all right, and then you're set to go. And here's your beautiful angels. See how pretty? It's so pretty. Beautiful angels. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. All right, and like I said, don't be afraid to use any colors. You can do pink, gold, blue, any colors you want. All right. That was easy tonight. See that? All right, let's go ahead and pray. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit longer. We're using the snowman. Oh, I'm hot. Metapause is not going to be fun if this is what I'm going through. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow we're going to do the snowman centerpiece. Um, well, you guys can vote. Snowman centerpiece or we can do our Nactivity uh, globe. All right. So I have a globe we can make or we can make the snowman centerpiece. It's to totally up to you. It's a 10-inch globe with this beautiful little nativity set inside of it or we can do the snowman centerpiece i'll let you guys vote and let me know all right let's bow our heads and pray father god i just want to thank you father god for working through my hands to make these two adorable angels father god i ask you we ask you to touch us from the top of our heads to the tip of our toes anoint our bodies father god give us strength give us comfort give us healing Give us guidance, give us sight to see what's in front of us, wisdom to know what to do. Guide us through all of our storms with you, all things is possible. We love you so much. We thank you for allowing us to wake up today, and we thank you for allowing us to wake up tomorrow, the gift of life. We love you so much, Father God. You are our everything, and we give all the praise to you. Thank you, Jesus, for being the Son of God, our Savior, we believe that you have died and you have risen, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and we love you so, so much, and we thank you. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. Continue to heal our bodies and give us strength. Be with this nation, be with all our friends and family, Father, and just wrap us with your armor of protection. Surround us with your angels of protection. We love you so much. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. We believe in Father God. We believe in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And we believe in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. There's your two gorgeous angels. These are not hard, everyone. I haven't done these on YouTube because these are what everybody makes. But um, it was a request. So I just wanted to do something a little different. So use your, use your imagination. You do not have to do all ribbon. You can use sprays and make little dresses. There's so much you can do with this. As you can see, we have part ribbon and part sprays. We have all sprays on her dress. And they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're fun. They're easy. And 